It was good, y'all. Welcome back to another reaction video with your boy Money Commando. Today we got famous dead career is basically dead. Here's why. So basically they're gonna break down how famous decks fell off. Let's get into it. First started blowing up in 2017, he never knew the timeline of events that would unfortunately happen only a few years later. One moment he was at the top of the game. But soon, everything went wrong, and his relevance in hip-hop drastically declined. So today, we're gonna provide a full explanation of why things took a turn for the worse. And it all started with an incident that was captured on a security yeah, camera. Yeah, I really wonder how did this nigga fall off. I know he got that one song, I forgot how that shit go though. But I guess he gonna play it. It's your boy Luesta, and if you My guys boy. like weekly video documentaries like this one, don't forget to subscribe. I got you, swing. It's the year 2015, and a new rapper named Famous Dex is suddenly hitting everyone's radar. Standout hits like Ho's Mad. Who's mad? Copyright, copyright, copyright. We're not trying to get copyright. Uh, broke out tears. I say, God, here we come. Here we come. And once I heard, and once I heard it on the radio, I'm like, it's no, it's no joke no more. Right. I can really change my family life. I can change my life. Let's do it. Within just one year, Dex went from being a nobody who had multiple arrests, ranging from robbery, burglary, cannabis possession, and more, to an artist with massive star power potential who could sell oh. records for a living rather than what he used to sell. <laughs> so the nigga used to be an underground rapper. Then he blew up all of a sudden. Okay. Oh, such as drugs to get by. That's In 2016, up. Dex's life would change forever. When the popular Atlanta rapper, Rich the Kid, signed him to his Rich Forever label, Dex viewed this moment as his ticket to success. And he even went as far as to compare it to the time where a young Drake signed to Lil Wayne. Wayne signed Drake. Look at Drake and Wayne. <laughs> People stop playing me, bro. I don't play, bro. I'm a dog, bro. You know what I'm saying? For real, bro. On some real shit. So me and bro, me and bro, me and bro know we we here for. Sadly, little did Dexter know that this new milestone would also mark the beginning of his downfall. After having a phenomenal year in 2016, Dex continued doing what he did best. He was dropping more hits, guest appearances, and performances than ever before, and was developing into that kind of artist that was difficult to avoid. However, just as you would think that his career was on the up and up, he would also get entangled with a ton of controversy. For starters, a video surfaced in September of 2016 showing famous Dex putting the beats on his girlfriend at the time. This is why this nigga fell off. It's over with. You can't come back from this shit. This nigga pulled a Chris Brown? What the fuck? Hi. The 42 second clip that I cannot show you on YouTube shows famous Dex following his girlfriend into what looks to be a hotel hallway oh, and constantly nigga, throws it down on his girlfriend. The rapper even goes as far as to continue even after she hits the ground and doubles back after leaving. The whole situation garnered a lot of attention and famous Dex had to sit back and watch as YouTubers covered the situation, news outlets called him an abuser, and we even had people calling for his shows to be canceled. And when he issued- like, why did you do this? You pulled a Chris Brown? Brown. He pulled a Chris Brown, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I can't find a bitch. I'm gonna let the police handle that shit. I'm not gonna fight no woman, bro. That shit dead. He pulled a Chris Brown, literally. Issued a response, Dex did seem somewhat remorseful for his actions. However, some people didn't like the fact that he seemed to be more concerned with his personal life being exposed without his consent. This is my personal life. Right. That ain't supposed to been out. Somebody recorded that. You know what I'm saying? That was my that's my personal business. People go through that in life, but don't you don't, listen, you don't put your hands on no female at all. Right. I have two two daughters. I love them. You know what I'm saying? Due to this footage surfacing, he missed out on a ton of potential bags. With sponsors like Puma backing out of their deal, and Dex also got skipped over the 2017 Double XL freshman class, which at the time was a huge promotion for rappers. And although Dex was seemingly unbothered by being left off, Everybody that's representing me, y'all, please don't stop disrespecting Double XL. Please, just stop disrespecting. Man, you just missed out on a great opportunity. Puma twin? Everybody fought with Puma. You missed out on that great deal. That's insane, bro. Just stop, oh, disrespect, just stop disrespecting Double XL. Congratulate them folks, man. It's, it's life, y'all. What about next year? His tone quickly changed when the chief editor of Double XL said the reason she took him off the list in an interview. So basically, Famous Dex didn't make it because of that video of him beating up the guy. 
I mean, I guess if you want to put it that way, listen. This rubbed Dex the wrong way, especially since fellow rapper XXXTentacion, who was also blowing up at the time, was not taken off the list. Despite the fact that he was having a similar issue pertaining to a female, but the only difference being that it wasn't caught on camera. So, that's why I didn't make Double XL because that video of my girl, that's the reason why you could come up with that? That lady? That fucking lady right there? Ma'am, you too disrespectful. Bitch, she just had my son. Fucking time about you fat, bitch. You gonna least say congratulations in that interview, bitch. After the incident ran its course on social media, it seemed like Famous Dex was genuinely affected by it. And due to all the negative press, he released a video where he seemed like he had changed for the better and was ready to experience more growth in his career. You know, not just me put my hands on the female, I, you know, me losing my mom, me being new to his music stuff. It was a lot of pressure on me, you know? So I just like kind of blanked out and I just want to be forgetting about it, you know what I'm saying? But there was still one thing that kept holding him back from changing into the man he wanted to be, which was addiction. Anyone who has watched Dex's music videos where he has multiple bottles of scissor or heard his lyrics where he constantly reminds you how high he is, knows that famous Dex had a serious drug problem okay. and was also known for being extremely intoxicated while yeah, streaming bro. live on platform. Yeah, he would, he would be, I ain't gonna lie. Why do rappers be taking that hard shit? I don't understand that. Like, they get nothing out of it but a fucked up ass body. I really want to understand why the rappers do that. It's like Instagram. In one popular incident, Dex literally fell asleep while he was live, which was seemingly the effects of the insane amounts of narcotics he was ingesting. With users writing, please get him help, and your favorite rapper needs to stay off them opioids, it seemed like the hip hop community was trying to bring light to this unfortunate situation. However, to others, it seemed like the perfect moment to clown him, with fellow rappers such as Trippy Red releasing his own version of falling asleep on live. <laughs> Listen and he, up, parents. And he just started taking that hard shit. Like I'm saying, bro, they gonna keep falling asleep. That's what's just gonna keep on happening. They gonna keep on falling asleep on live and shit. <laughs> Stop taking that hard shit, twin. Okay, but to up. Dex, this was a very real problem. I've seen a, a lot of studio sessions where engineers are pissed. Right. I mean, pissed. When Dex so high, he nods off. He'll, he'll be sleeping five, six hours, so the engineer, he's just sitting there with like nothing to do. Dex's issues with substance abuse showed all over his catalog as well, and may have contributed to what many deem as one of the worst bars by any artist in hip hop history, where he said he would ape a woman. Posing my pants like a skater. Vents on my feet like a skater. Copyright. No, copyright, 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 copyright. We don't want to hear that shit, bro. I'm sorry, son. You're not going to get me copyrighted. Luista, I don't know how you get these songs and get those ads rolling, but cut that out. You won't get me copyrighted. I mean, I'm a human being and I work my ass off, but don't let the world trick you and be fooled. I always know because only you know you. Not not my manager, not anybody. You know you. But at this point, nobody was buying his antics anymore, especially after what he did to a fan while high at one of his shows. In October of 2018, articles began surfacing saying that Dex allegedly pulled a gun on students after the concert he was playing at the university was canceled because of his stand. This is why he fell. Oh, age diving. In a video posted to social media, a man appearing to be Dex can be seen waving a gun at a group of students who had surrounded him. These kids, bro. These kids, I see why he fell off. This is why he fell off. Why are you doing his, his car Dex? following the canceled show on Friday night? Despite all of the problems and drama, famous Dex still kept his head up. And one can argue that in the midst of all the controversy, he was still putting out quality music. His songs Japan and Pick It Up featuring ASAP Rocky were making waves throughout the genre in 2018 and combined for nearly 150 million views together That's on crazy. YouTube. However, the success he was receiving only seemed to do more harm than good. For one, it seemingly began to inflate his ego, which wasn't good, especially considering it would only accept when he would get loaded off of substances. This led to him doing things like airing out his boss, Rich the Kid, on Instagram Live and discussing topics that were most likely better to be communicated privately. Not rich forever. I am sad to 300. Rich the Kid, selfish ass, is trying to sell Rich Forever 4. You're not trying to get me and J. Chris shit. You don't do shit for me and J. Chris. You just 
Then, in early 2019, bro, Famous Dex found himself Dex, in- what are you doing, bro? What is he doing? You're not supposed to discuss your label. That's how they go after you. In a series of back and forth arguments with Soulja Boy. After getting mad that Soulja Boy claimed, he was one of the first people to help Dex get his first foot in the game. Uh, we I put Famous Dex on, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was the first artist to fuck with him in LA, bro. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? He flew to LA, came and stayed at my house. That's that bullshit. <laughs> he met Rich the Kid at my house. Soulja Boy never in his life ever, ever, ever changed shit of my life. I ain't help you, right? Then why the fuck is your bitch ass been in my DMs since I came home from jail? <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit. I don't even respond. Big Soldier always on it now. Big Soldier. This led to a hilarious but also cringy Instagram live where the two confronted each other. You can't and keep your eyes on no more, bro. You nigga. a bitch, nigga. Hey, nigga. Hey, stop being a cop, nigga. I want you to be a cop. I want you to be a cop. Oh, Comedy shit. aside, one thing that was for certain oh, was shit. that Famous Dex wasn't mentally there. And literally yeah, every clip of him that surfaced, he was heavily intoxicated, causing him to make a fool of himself constantly on social media. It became abundantly clear he needed uh -huh. help in the latter half of 2019, where he would suffer a life-threatening seizure on stage while performing. This incident got a lot of people concerned about him, and you would think that somebody in his camp would urge him to take a break and get better. Instead, he returned nearly a year later to drop his album titled Diana, which only led him to fall deeper into a downward spiral, as the project would become a massive flop and only sell 4,000 copies in its first week. This was kind of sad since the album was also named after his late mother, who passed away from breast cancer a few years back. But instead of taking it to the chin and getting back into the lab, Dex couldn't get out of his own way. After the record came out, he he got himself arrested three times between October and November of 2020 for domestic violence bro, and- Oh, bro, twin, bro. Why you keep going to jail like Kodak? Oh, unlawful niggas, firearm bro. possession. A SWAT team even had to get involved in one of the domestic violence incidents where the victim had cuts all over her body. From here, Famous Dex would continue to appear more inebriated more and more often. And when confronted again by one of his fans concerning his drug use, Dex would respond in an even more unhinged manner. I will never stop the drugs. You should fucking stupid. I just fucked the bitch with big booty. With Dex appearing incoherent and going off the rails every time he was out in public, it would get increasingly sad. But when this image of Dex looking like straight up death went viral, it finally prompted. What's up with him, bro? Famous Dex. I mean, this is why I don't listen to Famous Dex in the first place. This is never, this is the main reason. Widespread why. concern from everyone in hip hop, including fellow rapper Annalie Choppa, who is urging his label to do something about it. Y'all see Famous Dex obviously on drugs too heavy. Can y'all at least try surrounding that man around somebody with his best interest? Help dude out. Or somebody already in his ear, uplift dude. He needing it. Which at first, Dex appreciated. But it eventually got to the point where he was sick of everyone worrying about him and decided to go off on everyone. Especially DJ Academics, who was the first to blow the whistle on famous dex's fragile state don't nobody say oh congratulations when when i went certified gold for my album though nobody be saying none of that all that congratulations ooh, about being a proud father all that. but y'all so worried about me whatever y'all worried about get the fuck off my dick dj academic use a fucking lame Oh, Stay off my we gotta pray for this nigga though i ain't gonna lie i don't think he can never come back because based on what i'm seeing he keeps beating on all these women and he won't stop he just won't let this stuff go i don't think famous dex can come dude, back dude you fucking lame right, ass bro. dude if i ever see you, i will smack the fuck out you i swear to god my son Stop my dick, bro. Eventually, Famous Dex got checked into rehab in December of 2020, but would check himself out only a month later and seemingly go back to his old ways. Come he was on, even bro. handed a 365-day prison sentence for breaching a restraining order issued by one of his victims the previous year. Now, fortunately, Famous Dex did get released after nine days due to overcrowding, and everyone thought he was going to do the same BS as before. But sometimes, it takes hitting rock bottom to find your way back to the light. This was certainly the case for Famous oh, Dex. Good comeback, sir. I'm fucking with this shit. 
Come on, let us know, Dex. She wanna hang with Rich forever. She takes no free. Copyright on my bed. You better stop that. Copyright little Easter before I have to beat your ass, personally. Because, yeah, I know Rich changed my life. I'm just not Rich forever no more. I'm independent. After a long period of suffering, Dex managed to overcome his demons that all too often come along with fame and fortune. Looking back at everything that happened, we can at least appreciate that Dex now puts the blame on no one but himself for all that has happened. No, I, I have I have no yes means around. It was me. It was me. It, it was me, brother, because I can support my habit. Come from nothing to this, I can support my habit. So it's like... Fuck you, nigga. I can... What? <laughs> and now that he's out on the other side, he can appreciate not only what he has, but what he almost lost. Mentally, I'm happy. I'm happy, brother. I I I haven't been happy in so long. That's good, bro. I'm glad he actually like let all that bad shit go. You know what I'm saying? He, he in a better path, even though this is why his, his career fell off, because he kept doing all that crazy shit. But y'all let me know. Y'all boy like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in the next reaction video.